In this Planet Zoo tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to create custom walls and custom paths. So, if you want to make better looking hard shelters for your habitats, create a zoo with wonderful, beautiful paths, or you just want to spruce everything up more in general and add more detail, then this video should help you. But just before we get into this video, I created a poll on my channel community page asking you what type of videos you would like to see on this channel. And with a whopping 42% of the votes, advanced tutorials won. Hence, why I'm doing this video. So here we are at this lovely emu habitat what I created most recently. And as you can see in the background there on the hard shelter, we have got some custom walls. And it might just be one of my favourite custom walls I've ever designed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through this idea, show you how I did it step by step so you get a clear picture how to build something like this and then show you easy little tips how to copy it over and align everything so it looks good. So it all starts with the on the grid piece. Now this is, to me anyway, the easiest way to build custom walls and to copy them over. So I like to use plaster. I don't know why, I just tend to always use plaster. If I can spell it correctly, that is. Let's type in plaster. There we go. Let's go into walls, find the plaster piece, what's on the grid, just like that. Now, it depends on how big you want your walls. For this demonstration, I will just do a four meter wall. And you can put whatever you want on this wall piece and copy it over and you've got yourself a custom walls. Now, Again, plaster pieces, this is another little thing I like to use. And then it's the Brick 01, the North African Plaster Brick 01. And I like to recolor this. You want to be able to keep on the same grid. You see it says here, editing in group, blah, blah, blah. It'll be a different number for you probably. You want to keep in the same group for everything you put on this wall. So let's recolor this. And I'm just going to slide it in just so it lines up with the wall just like that. You see? And then move it to the end. And it's all about decorating this wall piece. So I'm going to do one on the end there. Just like that. I want to leave, leave a little gap. You see I left a tiny little gap in between. That gives it the more real aspect that is actually cement behind it. And then all we want to do is click on this and we want to hold control and click on all these. And then you can just move it up. Yeah, that's a simple way how to do it. But I like to make things a little bit more complicated and, little, and it'll make it look a little bit more better if you do align these how they would be built in real life. So just like so, the line in the middle like that on each one. Now you see we've got a gap, so all we have to do is just make this one bigger. And you can also see flickering. Can you see that flickering if I just turn the camera? Yeah, we don't want that. Easy way to get rid of it. Just move it out and move it back in. Line it up. And there we go, the flickering's gone. Same with the other side. Move it out, move it back in. Flickering is gone. Just like that. And to start with, I think that looks pretty good. Now we're going to add a trim. Now, how I used to. Now we're going to add a trim. And for this, I'm going to go to the conservation pieces. One of my favorite pieces in the game. And I'm just going to move this down. Just like this. Just like that. And just place that there. And then the same on the bottom, like so. And then we're going to get this same piece and we're going to create the actual wall. So I want a wooden wall. I'm going to recolor this to a different color. Maybe like... Hmm. Nice white, like that. And we're just going to angle it. So we're going to go flat first and bring it out. And then we're going to angle this. So we're going to one. And then we're going to click on this button here. Toggle from relative world access. And that will let us bring it out, but still keep us level. Just like that. Bring it down. And then we're just going to go up. Place up. Place. Just align them 
until you create your wall. Doing them at an angle like this just really gives more depth of feel and gives texture to the wall. It stops the wall looking flat and you can really tell you've put a lot of effort into building and creating these custom walls. We're going to leave it like this and now with these what I like to do I'm going to come out a bit. See it's all about going in and thinking what you can change and changing it. Come back look at it. I'm going to bring these out and then we're going to bring this out and then we've got this one what's hidden in here somewhere. Let's delete that to get it. Actually, we'll delete this. The easiest way is to delete that. See, I'm, I'm not editing this all out. I'm showing you the, the actual process of me creating a custom wall here, step by step. And we'll put this one back in. Like that. Oh, we deleted that by accident. See, mistakes are, are no, we all make mistakes. It's all about patience and perseverance. And there we go, we've pretty much got a custom wall. I'm just gonna add a top now to this. Like this, and there we go, there is your custom wall. Now we need to duplicate this over. And we've made it easy, haven't we? Because we've already built on the grid. See, all this is all in one. If it's not all in one and you have gone outside of this group, just select it all like this and merge scenery into group. And now it's all as one. Now we just need to double left click to go into that group, hold the control key on your keypad and drag over just like that. Let go of your mouse and now just duplicate. And you can see you've got the wall. You can just duplicate it over. You can either turn it, make a nice little structure, however shape you want to. And that is how you create custom walls in Planet Zoo. You can copy this design or you can make your own kind of design. Anything you put on the wall on the grid pieces can be copied over. Now, if you do want to take this off the grid, all you have to do is go into the group itself and just delete the grid pieces. If you delete all these, there's no grid pieces in the creation then. Just delete these, there we go. Now you can freely move this round how you want doesn't matter about angles you can even totally rotate it you can do whatever you want to it because you deleted those grid pieces and now going back to the emu habitat you can see all i had to do was add a roof and there we go add a little trimmings as you can see here around the edges and you've got a custom building then a whole custom building what you've created from scratch yourself and it just looks a hell of a lot better than the in-game on grid pieces doesn't it over here i've got the exact same building but I've put some custom paths down. So let's have a little look at custom paths. Now there are some little tricks and tips I can show you when creating custom paths. But obviously these are just plaster pieces. Now if we actually go into paths and we align to this same grid, it will line up as you can see. If you put any construction pieces over the top, like so, your guests and your zookeepers and your staff will still walk over it giving you the ability to create all kinds of custom pathing as you can see I've done here with these lovely conservation wood pieces again and then I added kind of like a central little point just to break up the um, the design of the wood pieces really and you do this pretty much exactly the same way as how you would create your custom walls you use on the grid so let's delete this and you can see our path our in-game path is underneath let me just fill in these gaps for you and now this is the easiest way to do it you've got a building and you've got in the grid on oh, sorry on the grid pieces inside the building we're going to go into construction tab we've already got our path down remember lay your path first it's much more easier to see and then you're going to go on any piece you want again i'm going to use the plaster piece for this like i always do and we're going to add it to this group so just hover over this group it'll say select group blah 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 to add to left click and now you're in the group you're on this grid now and you're just going to place one just one just like that okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to go in back into the group left click on this and you're going to split this piece from the grid 
This makes it much more easier when you're copying stuff over, you're not accidentally selecting other stuff from the actual building. So just on this button here, split from grid, group, sorry, and there you go. And now it will stay in line with your building, but it'll be on a separate group. We want to keep one piece. And that's what the one piece we're going to copy over, just like we did with the custom walls. So let's go into conservation pieces again. This is how you would create um, kind of like a wooden custom path. Let's rotate that round. Let's lower it down so it's just poking over the edge like that. And then just get layering on down then. And again, like I said, the design is totally up to you. You can put whatever you want on these paths and your guest and your workers will still walk over them. This is just really good. Creating custom paths and custom walls in Planet Zoo is just a really good way how to spruce up everything. It just makes everything look better, whether it be habitats or whether it be the whole zoos in total. Nearly finished now. Just adding these last pieces like so. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same. First of all, we're going to group all this. Go into the group and we're going to select it all. Now watch, because we've split it, we can select a big selection like that and it will not select any of this building. That is why we split it, very important, remember it. And then we're just going to duplicate it over. Just like that, and we're going to cover all the pathing area with our custom made wooden plank paths. Now, once you cover the area, we need to lower it, don't we? Because it's a little bit high. If our guests walk on this, they're going to be like knee deep in path. So we're just going to select it all and we're going to press X. Simple as that. That's another, that's another reason, sorry, why we split it from this original group. Because you can now lower it down without lowering the actual building down. We want to lower it just above the path. Just like that. And it looks like a natural path. Just like that, you've got your custom wall of your custom building next to your custom paths. And remember, just get creative with it. Obviously, creating circular build buildings, your custom paths will be a little bit more difficult to put in. I've got many um, speed build videos on that. Go and watch any of my circular building speed builds and you can see me create custom paths. You just got to use off the grid pieces. It gets a little bit more complicated, but it looks and makes everything look a hell of a lot better. And say with your custom walls, this is an exterior custom wall I created with foliage rocks along an, an in-game path. And it just breaks up the habitat and makes everything look better. Think outside the box, you don't need to create a custom wall just for buildings. You can create custom walls to block off your habitat. And then if you want to get more creative, you can obviously create custom viewing areas like this. And just before I go, if you do want a little bit of help of getting creative and making your life in Planet Zoo a little bit easier, then on my Steam Workshop page, you will see stuff like this already built for you. These are custom fences that you can put straight in your zoos without building them. And of course, I've got a selection of backdrops and custom walls like these on my Steam Workshop also. The link will be in the description down below. I hope this video did help you get a little bit more creative and help you understand how to create custom walls and custom paths a little bit more easier. My name's Adam. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. If you're new around here, then hit that subscribe button. Please, all of you, hit that like button if you did enjoy or this video did help you. And I will catch you in the next Planet Zoo video.